Over the past few weeks, I've taken on some new 3D printing projects related to mechanical keyboards. And today, I want to share this one with you. My dual material hive style wrist or palm rest that uses hot swappable hexagonal plugs, allowing you to customize the color and pattern to your liking. Let's take a look. I designed this palm rest to match my 75% Keychron Q1 and V1 keyboards. So it's 330 millimeters wide, 80 millimeters deep, and angles upward from front to back at five degrees, terminating at a height of 19 millimeters. The top edge of the palm rest has a two millimeter chamfer applied at 30 degrees, which helps to blunt this edge for skin contact. I printed the structural body of the hive using PLA, but you could easily substitute PETG or any other printable rigid material. This component is split into two pieces to allow for printing on a standard 210 by 250 millimeter Prusa i3 print bed, though this has portability benefits as well. If you push down on the two hexagonal plugs to the right of the center of the palm rest, you can flex the two halves apart and stack them for transport. I found this to be quite helpful when commuting between work and home. The two halves of the hive body are held together by this large central core, which connects to six hive slots on the left piece and four on the right. Once connected, there's still a little bit of flex if you pick it up, but this isn't noticeable when it's lying flat. Really though, the stars of this palm rest design are the individual hexagonal plugs. In addition to the connecting core, there are seven unique plugs that fit into slots on the hive central body each increasing in height by about one millimeter as you move from front to back to accommodate the slope of the palm rest. There are also three more plugs on each of the left and right ends. In order to keep all of these straight and to simplify assembly, I've numbered each of the central plugs from one to seven, moving from front to back, and from one to three for each of the end pieces, along with a left or right indicator. Each plug has a line-to-line -line fit with the holes in the hive core, but they're made out of 95A thermal polyurethane, which gives them just enough elasticity to squish securely into place. Each fits flush with the top surface of the hive body when fully inserted, and has a small chamfered ledge at the base to prevent them from sliding further. This modular design allows you to easily swap hexagonal plugs in and out to vary the color and pattern of your hive palm rest. Over the last week, I've had a lot of fun mixing and matching plugs to come up with different patterns. Really though, even a simple solid hive pattern looks pretty nice. If you're looking to make your own hive palm rest, I've shared the files on my printables account, which I'll link in the video description. The only thing I ask is that you share a picture of your build so that others can see what patterns and color combinations you've come up with. I designed both the plugs and the hive body to be printed upside down, with their top surfaces touching the build plate to provide the cleanest look. Because the palm rest tilts at 5 degrees, you get a stepping effect on the final layer of the print, which doesn't look as nice, but gives the TPU plugs a tire tread like finish on their underside. Based on the design, no supports are necessary, though I would recommend you use brim when printing the hive body to avoid the edges or thin hexagonal members from peeling up during the print process. All in, I used a 0.6 millimeter nozzle and it took me about four and a half hours to print the hive body and 13 and a half hours to print a full set of plugs using up about 100 grams of PLA and 196 grams of TPU respectively. The only thing that didn't work out quite as well as I had hoped is the friction between the palm rest and the desk. I was expecting the TPU would provide a little more grip, but because I used a stiffer 95A TPU, it slides fairly easily on a smooth surface. This hasn't caused any issues, but you may want to try a softer 85A TPU or adhering some silicone feet to the underside if this bothers you. All things considered though, I'm really happy with how this little project turned out. In addition to being quite comfortable, I really like how personalized I can make each palm rest based on the hive body color and mixing and matching the hexagonal plugs to my liking. In the future, I'd like to adapt this hive palm rest to fit larger and smaller keyboards as well, and to print a single piece hive body once my Prusa XL finally arrives. 
In the meantime, if you're interested in getting your hands on one of these Hive palm rests, but you don't have access to a 3D printer, check out my Etsy store where I'm planning to sell them along with some extra plug sets. Also, if you have any suggestions for more 3D printed productivity peripherals you'd like to see, leave me a comment in the description. I really enjoy these projects and hearing from the community about things that you'd like me to make. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.